Hey guys, so we're here. Um, today I have something special. This is the first time on my channel I am opening the Japan Crate. Um, I got it for free. Um, it was a Black Friday deal? Yeah. Yeah, it was a Black Friday deal. If you signed up for a free trial of Crunchyroll, you also got a free Japan Crate. Um, me and Ashley both did it. She kept her Crunchyroll. I didn't. Um, I instead got Hulu Plus. But, um, our, our free Japan Crate finally came and I'll probably be subscribing to this, um, because it seems pretty cool and they had some issues with this month's crate so they're going to make up for it in next month's crate so I might as well get it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open this off camera because it's got my address and stuff and because I'm doing a weird setup today. You get to see my face today, so, you know, enjoy that. You see? <laughs> with my stupid, my stupid bangs. All oh, they're doing. Also, we have ice cream. We went to <clears throat> Baskin Robbins after dinner, so. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> it's like they knew or something. Or something. You got Pikachu on there. <laughs> and where's Waldo? Volume 7. Oh, Japan Great. Manga Zine. So this probably has everything that's in there, but then it has, um, oh, it actually has, like, manga in there. Um, I'm guessing this is like what they do in Loot Crate. But yeah, there's like a, a little manga in here. I bet you it's a whole story, but you know, we don't, uh, this is our first box, so. Ooh, that's Calpico. Uh, I don't think that's actually in here, but. Oh, uh, you dropped it. I did I? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Pretend like I didn't see what that was. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the crate. Um, so. This is what it looks like right now, and it's got all this fun stuff on top. It's got, um, open, share, <coughs> enjoy. It says Japan Crate right here. It's got, um, a little shrine with a mountain. It's probably Fuji in the background and clouds. So, um, so yeah, so here's an advertisement, a little insert for Crunchyroll, because like I said, that's how we got this. Um... <laughs> snack snackable series snack on these food themed anime series while you enjoy your candy <laughs> all right so let's see here's the first thing i can't read this um perfect it's from calvi and it says new and then something i can't read up it's 60 grams little potato snacks i'm guessing they feel Chips? No, I think they're chips, yeah. I thought they might be like, um, Cheetos, but they feel more like chips. Um, this is, I know this is a Japan crate, so everything should be from Japan, but, well, it's all in, not English, so. Well, I'm not English. It does, the, there's a website down here, and it's a, it's a Japanese website, I can tell that much, but, so I got those. Um, oh, this looks really cute. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my god. There's good stuff in here. <laughs> um, so we got um, Hello Kitty. It looks like Pocky, but it's not. I don't think it's Pocky brand. It says um, Kabaya up here, but it's it looks a strawberry flavored Pocky. Um, it's got little strawberries down here, and it's got Hello Kitty. Uh, wheat cracker, Kabaya, Hello Kitty, Ichigo pretzel. Ichigo means strawberry. I know. <laughs> I know some <laughs> Japanese, not very much. It is a product of Japan. It's distributed by um, a company in San Francisco, but it is a product of Japan. So, potato chips, strawberry pocky. We have um, regular pocky, the milk chocolate kind, which I think is just the regular kind, but they always have all different boxes. This might just be a special edition box. Um, what is this? Looks like sweet potato candies. Which, um, I've had the sweet potato Kit Kats. I can, I don't think I've posted that video yet, but I had them and they're really good. Or oh, this actually might be like... Was it sweet potato? No, I thought it was like dried <clears throat> sweet potato, like we do like dried mango and stuff, but, um, I can, I don't know if you can tell, but they're individually wrapped pieces, but they're little squares. So those are yeah. interesting. They are little squares. Yeah. I'll probably do a separate video where I try all these things. This looks super cute. It's called Silly Fox. I think it's um, 
What up? Yeah, like correction tape. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's, which I hate these things, but this one's super cute. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little fox. And he's, uh, he's on a ball that says rolling ball. It literally just says rolling ball. That's hilarious. So that's cute. That's what I was saying was really cute. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Soft mallow. Oh no. Fluffy. I hate I hate marshmallow things. <laughs> it says fluffy soft mallow. It's like a, it's a unicorn stick of marshmallow if you like marshmallows. So that's pretty neat. I'll try it. I'll try it, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Ooh. Kelpies. They're um the brand new does Calpico. I don't know if the, it actually means something. Like, is that a flavor? It, I it think it's like, like no, no, no. It's um. No, not leafy. It just says Calpis gummies. Oh, they're gummies. gummies. Oh no, it's not. It's um. Milk maybe. Yeah, they're like kind of creamy. If you've ever had a Calpico, um, I don't have one sitting around. Oddly. <laughs> I think there's one in my fridge actually that I've been putting off drinking, but they're they're kind of creamy, but they're not. They call them non-carbonated sodas, and it's not like really milky, but it's it's kind of like um, like Yakult's, like the little yogurt drinks. Um, but yeah, these look really good. And we have more gummies. It looks like sparkling orange gummies, and then the little soda bottle shaped. Sakuma Pond Sparkling Gummy. It's like the base of the drink too. Yeah. So these are both. I think these are both. They look very similar. But actually. I guess they're not by the same people. The, the ingredients. Like the first few ingredients are the same. That's funny. Here's the Where's Waldo. It's a gum I think. <laughs> Which hilarious um but i see i've seen this brand a lot a lot of you however you pronounce that yeah this is gum ichigo and mk mk what's that oh it's mk flavored i don't know all right and then uh, for you guys little um pokemon gum i think this is gum it's pineapple flavored whatever it is oh it feels like a solid stick of something Pocket Monsters. Ooh, it's chewing candy. Awesome. So this is by the same brand, the the, the Lottier, L-O-T-T-E, however you pronounce it. And I got um, Evie and Sylveon, which is perfect for me. So that's really stoked. And it's pineapple flavored. I love pineapple. Hopefully uh, Ashley doesn't get pineapple because she hates pineapple. But if she does, I get to eat it. And then our last item is this blue jelly pen, which is what fell out earlier. And it's a really nice color. You can't really tell. It's got this design, it's kind of like clouds, but they're, it's almost like, um, like fabric or, uh, like origami paper maybe. And then it's got a little bird sitting on top of one of them. So that's really nice. It's a nice color. Like I said, it's kind of a, a light green blue. Oh, it says you are the rainbow in my life. How sweet is that? Oh, I'm going to, I don't want to actually color on my box. Oh, there's something else. There's one more thing. Is that is this it? It's the last thing? Okay. Um a strawberry cake? But they're candles? Are they strawberry cake scented candles? It's candy. Oh it is candy, but <clears throat> Oh it's strawberry cake. Cake candies. Oh they kinda look like um like Altoids. Huh. So yeah, so um, I'm going to be trying all these different things in a different video because this is already really long. But that is what this year's, this year, huh, this month's Japan crate looks like. Let me see if there's a better, just, just wow. dropping shit all over the place. I think those were my toothpicks. Um, so yeah, uh, the Calpis candy, the popular drink of Japan are coated in sugar and filled with Calpis, Calpis jelly filling. Mm. Milk chocolate Pocky, Hello Kitty Strawberry Pretzels, so they're not Pocky, but um, Juicy Shortcake, which is that, that tube that I just had, 
these chip candies come in a tube of 15 and they're delicious. Oh, maybe they're like, um, we have a, a craft chain called Craft Warehouse and they always have these little chip candies. Oh. Oh. Uh, maybe. I don't know about that. Usushi Ume Potato Chips. <laughs> Lightly salted and crisp to perfection, these chips are a great savory balance to the sweet flavors in your crate. Try either Usashi or Plum, which is the Ume. It looks like I got um, Usashi, which is just the, the salt flavor. Maybe you'll get the Plum flavor. We can try both. Um... Where's Gudetama? There's supposed to be a Gudetama in here. It's a Gudetama. You don't know what Gudetama is? Get out. Oh, it's going to be a Gudetama pudding. The D. D oh, uh, do it yourself yeah, yeah, pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but the shipment was late, and then when they finally got it, a lot of them were ruined. Yeah. And there was like moisture inside yeah, of them. Damage during transit. Yeah, that's the thing that they're replacing for the next crate. We'll also be, so we decided to do something awesome to make up for the missing duo, DIY. We'll also be including a special bonus item in the February crate as a thank you. Huh. Okay, so, um, yeah, the orange sparkling, the sparkling orange gummies, strawberry, oh, strawberry and cream. So that's what that word was. Um, the, that's what MK apparently stood for, was for cream. This look for Wally. The Japanese version of Where's Waldo edition it includes a special card that challenges you to find Waldo. So I guess it comes with like a little. Mini Where's Waldo. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, oh! If we had gotten the premium, it would have come with these extra things, but I didn't. Gaba infused stress relieving milk chocolate. Well, shit. <laughs> Yeah, Apparently Pokemon pineapple candy, so you are going to get pineapple too. Yes, more candy for me. It looks like they come with different designs, so I was really lucky to get Eevee and Sylveon, because those are my favorites. And yeah, yam white chocolates. Okay, so the, the yam things were candies. Mm, they're probably white chocolate like the is mixed then. with sweet potato. Yeah, I love that Japan <laughs> embraces the sweet potato, because I love sweet potato too. So that's what all that was. Um... And then it kind of goes into detail on all the different things. Or at least I went into those things. What? Each month, one lucky subscriber is randomly chosen to win the Segoy crate filled with giant candies, Japanese gadgets, toys, and gaming systems. Yeah, and this you came can win with the like. DS. Yeah, it came with a Pikachu plush and a Gudetama plush, a candy sushi set. Oh, a Nano Block set. That's awesome. Um, giant Pocky, which is really giant. <laughs> Cheesecake Kit Kats, ooh, yum. Yum, indeed. Surprise turtle egg. Wids, I'll kill you. Machikoro game. I wonder if the DS is for next time. I think so. Uh, this came with a Wii U. <laughs> How funny. And uh, some amiibos. So that's cool. Anyways, guys, um, so I thoroughly enjoyed this crate. Like I said, we'll have another video where I try all the food if you want to know what it tastes like. Um, maybe I'll even read the manga in that video to you guys. Which looks like it starts in the middle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so definitely go check them out. And I think they're like $25 a month, which, you know, you get a lot of stuff, and that's pretty cool. 20 or 25 somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah. And so I'm definitely going to buy February's crates. And I'm looking, at, I'm looking forward to, to that. I'm excited. So um, let me know what you guys think. Do you subscribe to any crate services? Do you describe, subscribe to J Japan Crate? Um, do you want to see me eat those snacks? I'm going to probably do it anyways. But <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. And don't be a mining when you can be a plusle.